Yeah, no one would be asked to do that. Hello, everybody, and welcome to 97% Fire, the home of home recording. You join me here in the Artist Beverage Creation Centre here at the home studio. Now, many of the regular viewers, apologies, will be surprised to know that these videos are indeed planned. And the rest of you may be astonished, but plan they are, and here's how it happens. So of an evening, myself and the rest of the senior leadership team have a strategic marketing and strategizing meeting. Basically, when the kids have gone to bed, I have a look on the internet for things I can buy for the studio, or my wife nods. Anyway, sometimes this coincides with a bank holiday, and it is highly compelled, and we end up with this. Lots of boxes that we can't remember ordering, and we don't know what's inside. So welcome to the first ever edition of Content Roulette. What's in the box? What's in the box? Health and safety fans. Wobbly cam. Oh. To the studio. We are not sponsored by this product. Now, the other day in the studio, it was so hot that... Let's see if we can get a better camera angle. The... Acoustic panel actually fell off the wall. So I'll show you a very, very technical way of sticking it back on. Using extra strong carpet adhesive. Oh. <laughs> well ventilated room wearing a mask. Wobbly cam. There you have it. I had actually, I don't know if you can see it, drawn a line there to cheat to make sure it's perfect. Cool. Right, let's hope that stays on for a bit about longer. What's in the box? Ooh. From Soundtronics. Look at those. You see that? They have been sent off. They have been sent off and serviced. Let's see if they work. Microphone number one. Slight bit of noise here. 50 hertz. Microphone number two. Quite a lot of noise there. So 
So we're going to be doing an XY pair of these. So first thing is just to make sure all the switches are as you want them and that they both match. Then we need some mic cables. Let's see if that is noisy or are they fixed? Well, we came. Do, 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 do. One, two, one, two. Yeah, right. So, and um, we see. Uh. Okay, so we've put on phantom power. Oh, these two mics are linked. Stereo links. So we press on here. You can see. They are linked and I can disable them if I wish. Now we go back to the input. We have all the doors and windows open, so you should be able to hear the traffic. But the bit I'm interested in is this EQ. So they can see a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of background noise. So today's project from a skip is this. I think it was a piano stuff at one point. As you can see, I've worked on this previously, as there are many staples holding the upholstery on. Let's see, we can do a quick fix. And it might be something we can have in the studio. So once you've taken nearly all of the staples out of the wood, uh, we give it a quick sand that this is a dust-free sanding system, as this wood is indeed MDF, and breathing in MDF particles is very, very bad for you, health and safety fans. I also use hoover or vacuum uh, any dust off the bench, off the foam, and then off the wooden pad, and that helps the glue stick to the item in question rather than sticking to the dust. Top tip. This is the same glue we used earlier to uh, ruin one of the walls in the control room. Now the next step is to put down a plastic bag and now this will protect the glue on the bench from the workpiece. If you don't do this, you accidentally stick the foam to the bench. Ask me how I know. Anyway, after an hour of light compression, the glue and the foam and the wood are indeed one. The next step is to get a really sharp knife and to gently go around the edges of the base, making a beautiful smooth cut. Now after about 20 minutes, what's going to happen is you'll realise that it isn't a very smooth cut and you're going to try and sand it. That also won't work and it'll leave you with a terrible edge. So what you should probably do in the first place is use one of these bandsaws with a really fine tooth blade. You could also use uh, a jigsaw 
Or if you're feeling particularly brave and there's no one else in the house, you can nick a steak knife from the kitchen. It's up to you. Now, as I'm sure you're aware already, I'm a third Dan upholsterer with a grade six in staple gunning. Um, so I think you know what's coming next. You can see here, this is actually a towel that belonged to my granny, who would be entirely mortified that it was now on the internet. Uh, but it does help to sort of stick all the foam together because it is old and it also gives a nice soft edge to the wood which is particularly pleasant when you are seated next thing is we use some stretch fleece this is not the same material that we used for the acoustic panels although it is a similar-ish color if you don't look too closely because it's a stretch fleece it's really 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 easy to bend round the corners and upholster slash staple gun onto the base. So using my tried and tested method of pure guesswork, I hack um, cut some of the fleece to size. Making sure that there's enough just to overlap the edges, but not so much that there's a huge lump in the middle because this is where the metal base will go. Also to remember that we have a cover pad that came with the original stool, so we're going to use that again. So as you can see here, I've left about 25mm or 1 inch if you're an Americanese. And then beautifully, accurately and professionally uh, fold up the corners and then stick them together and then cover it with something else so nobody can see what a mess you've made of it. So there we have installed the original base and we have attached that as it was originally with the staple gun. Now because that's the original base it's actually marked where all the holes are for all the bracketry which is quite handy. The brackets also help hold everything together because they go through the black cover, through the fleece, etc. So a quick job, just firing the last of the screws, give it a quick dust, and you're done. Probably time for a close-up. What's in the box? Episode two. Ta-da! That is not studio related. <laughs>